All right, here we go. Um, 1969 Buick Riviera disc brake conversion. All right, as you can see, the studs are left out of this rotor because this rotor is actually from a, uh, well, let's say 96, uh, 1500 or half ton Chevy pickup. The studs that that particular year uses are 14 millimeter and they're not gonna work with uh, the lug nuts that I need. So what I did was I found some uh, half inch ones and see them side by side here. Um, these came off of a 1972 C10. So anyways, this is what we got. You get the bracket from Scared Bird. You, you can look them up online. You get the rotors for a 96 Chevy half ton pickup. You get the calipers for a 99 Chevy Astro Van. Uh, four-wheel drive and then the brake pads are the same ones that the trucks use they're a uh, the D number is D 369 the hose the one I use is off of uh, a 72 C 10 and basically you just put this little setup together and you're good to go the only other change I had to do to it was I put a universal type master cylinder on it um, that could be used with four-wheel disc or disc drum, whatever. Uh, manual brakes, they're pretty cheap. Probably paid like 40 bucks for it, so it's not that much. Yeah, there's not too many places offering any conversion kits. And the ones I did find, they, they were kind of like, I'll get it to you when I get it to you. So they, they still got to put it all together the same way I did. So anyways, I just want to let you know that, that you can get this done um without going through too much hassle other than the lug nuts and then also your wheels the factory wheel will not fit on this rotor so you gotta you gotta use an aftermarket wheel right here the hub area is just too large so the 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 uh, wheel will not slide all the way on so there you go good luck